Well, hello there, class. Here we are uh, toward the, I guess we're nearing the end of the first week of Unit 7. Um, what I want to do in this video is I want to just kind of go over the last part of uh, this class. Okay, so I hope that, um, well, I'm sure that life is busy and hectic and crazy as you're preparing for the end of the semester. Um, it's uh, a bit actually unbelievable in some ways that we are um, two and a half weeks away from the end of our term. Um, in our class. Uh, you've done great work. I uh, really appreciate all that you've shared. Um, yeah, so just really, really well done. So I'm going to have an opportunity now to finish um, on a strong point. And my hope would be that this has been, um, I guess, a couple of different things. I hope that this class has been um, helpful uh, and informative, I guess I would say, from uh, professional practice perspective, right? So how's that for uh, alliteration? So try and say that three times fast. Professional practice perspective. So when you're working with clients, even if you never kind of touch specifically uh, or explicitly career counseling, uh, my hope would be that what you have learned in this class will benefit you in the long run as you um, you go and, and serve your clients uh, from a traditional clinical psychology therapy uh, counseling route. Um, but I would say, maybe I was going to say more than, I wouldn't say necessarily more than, but I would say in addition to, my hope is that this has been a very helpful class for you personally, from a very personal perspective. So professionally, yes, but I hope that you've been able to kind of read the content, think about things uh, personally, think about things like, oh, you know, that's actually, I didn't even think about how that applies to me, but it really does. That That's amazing. So that's really kind of my hope. I, I, twofold, professional um, and, and personal connections I think are important, and I hope that you found both of them uh, over the course of this class. Um, and so in these final assignments, I guess half of the final assignments, the first one, uh, which is your video assignment, my hope would be that as you're kind of reflecting back on what's taken place so far, you will have an opportunity to think really deeply about what you've taken away from this class, okay? So I wanna go over the final two assignments. Um, I'll probably be a bit more involved on the video assignment and then I'll just do a brief overview of um, the second portion. If you have questions, of course, email me um, and we can talk more about that, but I hope that, that, that you'll find this to be helpful. Obviously, you can just read in the syllabus, but I think sometimes it's helpful for me to elaborate a bit as I read through the syllabus. So the final assignments that you'll be working on are broken into two parts, okay? Uh, the first part is a synthesis video, okay? So you will record a seven to 10 minute video, and this is going to include both audio and visual, okay? So I actually want to see you present, okay? Um, I want you to go over, you don't have to have a PowerPoint presentation, you can if you want to, but I want you to actually present to me by way of video. So if you have an Apple computer, you know, I usually do um, the photo booth app. That's how I record all these videos. I go into the video mode, I record my, my content, and then I upload it to YouTube. It's, it's almost seamless, very simple. If you're on a PC, um, I'll just in full disclosure, haven't worked on a PC computer for probably the past oh, I don't even know, uh, 15 years or something like that. So I unfortunately really can't be all that helpful uh, when it comes to um, how a PC works from a, from a video recording. Um, but I'm sure if you are, you know, on a, uh, you can go to, you know, Microsoft.com or some, you know, Google search and you can find it very quickly. You could do it on your phone, um, but I would encourage you, can you believe I have a 5S? It's so cute. Um, I would encourage you not to do it on your phone because as you know, when you do it on a phone, it's kind of this like square or uh, rectangular little thing in the middle and there's all this black space on the sides. Okay, so really do if you can all all that you can to record on the actual computer so that it's a you know a better filmed product. Okay, so I want to hear from you. I want to see you. I want to hear your voice. I want to hear all the content, and and then you also in addition, I want you to have some sort of a visual, not just you visual, but whether it's um, you know you've got some slides that maybe you you hold up. So I said you don't have to have a presentation, but if you wanted to have a PowerPoint presentation, um, you're more than welcome to do that. You can actually do kind of share, and you can have a video in the bottom of a screen so I can see you, but then also view your, your PowerPoint presentation. You can do it that route. There's lots of different ways. Be creative, but I want some sort of visu visual presentation that's physical, right? So something I can, maybe not physical, but something that you're holding, something that you're showing, so that I can see both your face because obviously we're not in a face-to-face -face classroom, so you can't do a live presentation. 
but I do want to see you, I want to hear from you, and then I want there to be something that goes along with your presentation that's a visual um, in addition to the visual of you yourself. Okay. Now, here's the other thing. They're going to do it. You're going to do a one to two page, I think is what I listed as, one to two page handout like document. Okay. And this is just going to outline the content of what you discussed in the video. Let me be clear in this. Uh, I think I've not been as clear in the past. The handout does not count as your visual. Okay. The visual does not count as your handout. So what you will do is it's very clear in here is you will upload uh, your video. You will upload your and, and when I say upload, it could be something as simple as just including the URL to your YouTube video. You will upload the handout um, so that I can actually see the handout itself. OK, so um, what you're going to do in this video and I'll go through all this, so don't worry, I'll, I'll go through it specifically. Um, you are going to, uh, let's get here, uh, record a seven, 10 minute video, including audio and visual, detailing the overall learning in this course, okay? Don't go over 10 minutes and don't go under seven minutes, okay? So somewhere in that seven to 10 minute, and I will tell you, a really good video um, is going to be more than seven, but doesn't have to be more than 10, okay? So, you know, I think an eight or nine minute, right up to 10 minutes is a great clip to shoot for. Um, I want you to talk about what your thoughts were before uh, you started the class on career development and now what they are as the class is about to end. Okay, uh, You should include references to at least three, hear this, career development theories and or techniques. Now listen to where they come from that were discussed in Anderson and Vandehe and or the LipTech text. Okay? So I've made that clarification because your vocation and calling book is not a theory or technique to be used nor is the well-being assessment index okay, or the text itself. Those are not theories or techniques. Okay? They are uh, supplemental readings that add to and I think make our learning even better and more comprehensive, but they're not theories or techniques. Okay? So they got to come from Anderson Van Heet or LipTech. These theories and techniques should be discussed in combination with the ideas of vocation. So you're now talking about them in combination with vocation and calling. Okay, so based upon the book you read. Um, and the five elements of well-being. So I want you to look at how do they all connect, okay? Um, in other words, discuss how the big picture of what was explored in the class all connects, like I just said. The ideas may all seem to be disparate, but students should provide clear connections between all of these concepts, okay? The video is a bit of an archive for students to reflect back on what they learned um, and how it fits into their overall learning in the rest of the MA in clinical psychology program, okay? While uh, one class in career counseling, career development theories does not entirely inform your philosophy on career counseling, it may serve as a launching pad for the start of a more in-depth consideration of this topic. Okay, so make sure to discuss why this field and study is so important to the overall field and study of clinical psychology. Again, going back to I may have thought this way, but now after the class, I think this way. Okay, why is this important to? Why is it an important kind of? Um, uh, element, if you will, of clinical psychology. Okay, In your own words, students should discuss how they will personally use your newly acquired um, knowledge in the overall scope of your work, um, even if you never specifically conduct career counseling. Okay, uh, Students must share the most uh, three of the most useful things that were gained and one to two things that surprised you the most. Okay. In addition, uh, you will have a one to two page handout like document that clearly outlines the contents discussed in the video. Okay. Consider the presentation of the video and the handout as something that would be given to somebody that is not in class with us. Okay. So if you were to want to inform somebody on what you learned, make it clear and concise that wasn't in the class, what would you want to say in the video and what would you want to share in the handout? Okay. Um, students want, uh, like I just said, you want to, uh, as though we were in the class, you want us to feel informed, okay? Uh, let me give you an example here. Uh, discuss why the career diamond is such an important tool to be used in career counseling. Combine the career diamond and the well-being assessment and discuss how these two tools directly connect and can benefit clients when offering career counseling. Discuss the history, the background, how it or they can be used, specifics regarding why or how it they are useful, and what might be some of the possible outcomes when using it or them. Okay. Please note that the theories and techniques have to come from those books I talked about. RASP well-being, I'm going to remind you because I see it every single semester, well-being is not a theory or technique to be discussed. Okay. You want to include it, but it's not your two, it's not your three takeaways. 
Um, here's a hint. Choose your three favorite theories or techniques and expound on them. Okay. Do not select theories or techniques that you might not appreciate or understand as well as others. Okay. This final video should really truly be a synthesis of all the aspects that were explored in the class. You obviously won't be able to explore everything. Don't try to do that, uh, but you should give a thorough overview and analysis of what it was that you explored and ultimately what it was that you learned. Okay, so again, videos over 10 minutes uh, should not be uh, submitted. If you do, you'll receive a reduction in grades. So practice, practice, practice. Treat this like a professional presentation because I'm going to see you in the video. Make sure that you dress accordingly, professionally. Okay, um, probably you don't want to, you know, be laying back on your on your bed with a pillow behind you in a t-shirt and shorts, right? So dress accordingly, dress appropriately for all of this. Okay. Um, the handout should be uh, properly formatted according to APA, and then the video should be uploaded to Canvas along with the one to two page handout. If you need help with the video, please let me know at least one week in advance of the assignment's due date, so I have time to help you with that. Okay, hope that's very clear. If you have questions, please, please, please um, email me. Okay, the second part of this assignment is um, you're going to basically get a chance to play, if you will, um, career counselor, and you're going to put together a treatment plan. Okay, so for purposes of the second part, you are going to use the case study of Leslie. So if you go to the end of your syllabus in Appendix A, you will find a whole case study based on the life of Leslie. Okay, um, you will be responding in kind to all of this based upon what you've read in the LipTAC text. Okay, there is no minimum page count requirement for this assignment. However, please hear me, it must be thorough thoughtful and complete. Again, referring to the case study of Leslie, students will write up a mock treatment plan following the format, hear this again, included in chapter three of treatment planning for career counseling. Okay, make sure you include the following sections in the treatment plan. You can look at these. Keep in mind that you may not have the entire information subsets to speak to certain aspects of the plan based upon what you see in the case study of Leslie. Okay, so you may need to conjure up some of the details yourself, such as what is to be included in the actual intake assessment and evaluation and termination phases. Okay, so what questions would you include? What evaluation would you conduct? And then how would you actually go and then do the termination phase with the client? Okay, uh, for the intake assessment, uh, please follow the template. Again, I'm giving you the specifics. You got to fill in the blanks. Uh, seen in the case of Gary in chapter 12, okay? Uh, for each goal, make sure you include clear objectives and interventions. Include brief rationale regarding why you chose the specific theories, techniques, and how you see them benefiting Leslie. Okay, so, you know, have fun with this. Um, the goal of this second part of the final assignment is not, please hear me, to solve, it's not to solve all of Leslie's problems, okay? I'm not looking for that. But what I am looking for is for you to show how you have uh, thoroughly and critically thought through your approach to how you might best address Leslie's career related needs and that you fully understand the theories and the techniques that you've chosen to include in this situation with Leslie. Okay. One of the questions that somebody asked uh, earlier this week or maybe last week was, um, why do we only have a certain number of sessions that are set for working with clients? Well, I think that, you know, it's kind of arbitrary. You decide what you think works best. For me, it's four. Um, for others, it may be more or less, right? So, but we know that just writing this, 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 one, this one response to this assignment, this treatment plan, you're not going to be able to actually do everything. So you'll lay out what you want to accomplish. But what I'm looking for is, do you understand fully the process, right? If someone were to come in to you, how would you approach them? What would you utilize? How would you best serve them to accomplish the goals that you've set out uh, to really provide great um, uh, career counseling and career development service and, 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 and you know, um, resources, services to uh, these clients, okay? So be as thorough as you can. Um, again, remember, no page count required, but you need to be thorough, thoughtful, and complete. And again, if you have questions on this, please let me know. This is a fun assignment, so I, I hope that you have just a great time with it. And these are both due. I'm going to give you actually a, um, a, a couple of days past if need be. Um, they're due on the Friday, but if you need to, you can submit them on the final Sunday of the term. All right, any questions, let me know. 
Have a great time with the assignments, and I'm looking forward to the, receiving them.